Hello everyone, in this video we are going to look at the correct answers along with the locations that follows this reading passage to driverless cars. The first type of question is matching the information. We are here given with some statements and we have to mention that this statement comes from which passage, uh, paragraph of the passage. So we have to mark A to G alphabets against each of these statements. So uh, the first statement is reference to the amount of time when a car is not in use. So this information is given in passage C. So let's move let's move to the passage C. So here uh, I have highlighted this line. The average car spends more than 90% of its life parked. So not in use means parked. So answer is C because it is mentioned in C paragraph. Now 15th statement is mention of several advantages of driverless car uh, driverless vehicles for individual road users. So this information is given in passage B. So here are some of the advantages of driverless vehicles for individual road users. Uh, like the first one is that uh, the users who are older uh, or disabled uh, they may have greater travel autonomy so this is one uh, other one is if the driverless car is driving then the individual in the car may uh, be more productive uh, or uh, may socialize or may relax at the time when the driver and when the car is self-driving so these are some advantages to an individual road user if he is using driverless vehicles so answer is b because this information is given in the passage b now 16 reference to the opportunity of choosing the most appropriate vehicle for each trip this information is given in passage e so let's move to the paragraph E. Uh, so I have highlighted the line in which this information is given. Drivers will have the freedom to select one that best suits their need for a particular journey. So reference to the opportunity. It's an opportunity for a driver to choose most appropriate vehicle for each trip so this information is given in passage e so correct answer is e 17th statement is an estimate of how long it will take to overcome a number of problems so this information is given in passage g in the very first lines it's clear that there are many challenges that need to be addressed but through robust and targeted research, these can most probably be concurred within the next 10 years. So time is given that is within the next 10 years. So answer is G to the statement 17. Now 18th statement is a suggestion that the use of driverless cars may have no effect on the number of vehicle manufactured so answer to this lies in paragraph t and here this faster rate of turnover may mean that vehicle production will not necessarily decrease to understand start reading from here and you will get the thing so this information is mentioned in D paragraph, so correct answer is D. Now, let's move to the second type of the question. This is uh, fill in the blanks and uh, here again we are given with the indication that we cannot use more than two words to fill in these blanks. So let's start. Uh, we have to complete the summary and the summary is in the form of fill in the blanks. Now, 
Figure, figures from the Transport Research Laboratory indicate that post motor accidents are partly due to dash. So answer is humor error and answer comes from P paragraph here. It is highlight. Next one is uh, it may bring advantages. For example, schemes for dash will be more workable, especially in town and cities, resulting in few cars on road. So answer is car sharing. And the location is in C paragraph here. I have highlighted this. Automation means that initiatives for car sharing becomes much more viable particularly in urban areas. So it is mentioned in towns and cities and here it is mentioned urban areas. So it's more viable in urban areas. So 20th answer is car sharing. Next one is uh, 21st. It is the answer is ownership. According to the University of Michigan Transport Research Institute, there could be a 43% drop in ownership of cars. So the answer lies in D paragraph. In the second part of this paragraph, uh, here, modeling work by University of Michigan Transport Research Institute suggests automated vehicles might reduce vehicle ownership. So only ownership because ownership of cars, vehicle type is given that is cars. So we will only write ownership. So ownership is the correct answer. Uh, however, this would mean that the yearly dash of each car would on an average be twice as high as it is currently is. So answer uh, is in the very next line that is by 43%. But the vehicle's average annual mileage would be double as a result. So mileage would be double. So mileage is the correct answer. Next, the next type of uh, question is we have to choose two statement that suits best to this which two benefits of automated vehicles does writer mention so we have to choose among these five statements which are the two benefits of automated vehicles that are mentioned by the writer in the this particular passage so the correct answer is c and d uh, the two benefits are let's read c travelers could spend journey doing something other than driving and it is written over here that while driving in a driverless car the, uh, the people uh, can relax and could be more productive or can socialize uh, while traveling in a driverless car. So from here, uh, answer comes to this question. And uh, the next statement is people who find driving a physically difficult could travel independently. So it is again mentioned in the same paragraph, such as older and dis uh, or disabled travelers may be able to enjoy significantly greater travel economy, uh, autonomy. So uh, it is mentioned over here that older or disabled travelers could travel independently. So these are two benefits that are mentioned by the writer about the automated vehicles in the passage. The next question is write the correct letters in the boxes uh, and the question is which two challenges to automated vehicle development does the writer mention. So which are the two challenges to the automated vehicle development. So it is mentioned in F paragraph challenges are hurdles. There are a number of hurdles to overcome in the delivering automated vehicles. First one is uh, these include the technical difficulties in ensuring that vehicle works reliably in the infinite range of traffic, weather and road situations. So the first one is uh, 
getting automated vehicle to adapt to various different driving conditions. So different driving conditions mentioned in the passage are infinite range of traffic, weather and roadside situation. And uh, the other challenge is for communities to, uh, and the societal changes that may be required for community, communities to trust and accept automated vehicles. So here, this, this one is the correct answer, making sure the general public has confidence in automated vehicles. So these are the two uh, correct answers among these. Uh, so we can write A or E in any order for 25th and 6th.